Happy Food 30. Chatty O'Hare, hope you're doing all right. And happy Labor Day weekend. It's Labor Day weekend, so I figured, what the heck? Let's make some burgers. Mm-hmm. We'll see you when I get the grill prepped. This is what we are working with. We have prime grind beef patties, 75.25. I got discounted. Along with some tomatoes, lettuce, onions, pepper jack cheese, and a couple of buns. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Do you like apples? You do? How do you like them apples? Very It is time to get these burgers dressed up. As you can see, got to see the whole cooking process, them cooking 
Uh, real quickly, I sped that up for you all because it's kind of boring to sit through all that. So we're going to start with some lettuce here, some onion here, a little piece there, and here. Throw the tomatoes on them. Push it down a little bit, make sure there's room for fun in hand. And that's what we're working with right there. Mm -hmm. These look incredibly delicious. Labor Day is one of those weekends that you just party your ass off at the same time. You kind of get a little sad like, well, it's pretty much it for the summer. It's, it's done. We are now moving towards the autumn. It's going to start getting cooler. Days are going to get shorter, but I will tell you this, and it's a promise, burgers will still taste delicious in the winter. All right, let's uh, give her a little bite. Mm. Hot. As you can see, I did put some Uncle Steve's Da Bomb Shake on the burger. Before I put them on and while I had them on, I put it a couple times and kept putting it on. Holy smokes. Look at that thing. That's a big burger. I make big old burgers. I like big, juicy, delicious burgers. are really good. A little onion, raw onion. Oh yeah. Bite over here, get the onion and the tomato with the lettuce and the burger and the bun. Great burger. Surprisingly, this wasn't the cheapest <laughs> meal I've grilled with you guys. This is probably one of the more expensive. What was it? Four twenty-nine for both patties. Three ninety-nine for some lettuce, onions, and tomato. It wasn't cheap. The cheese was. I think three dollars so I mean you're looking at a ten dollar meal right here it was not cheap but 100% worth it mm -hmm. yeah this burger is flipping phenomenal Keep stepping back because it's like so good it just makes me just go oh heavenly these are heavenly fire kissed burgers This gives it a nice, like, little bit of a smokiness to it. This is really good seasoning. Go to Uncle Steve, UncleSteveShakes.com. Get yourself the bomb. You will not be disappointed. This is really good. I've been using this quite a bit over the course of the last, like, six months or so. I have that much left. I have so much of that. It's insane. A little bit goes a long way with Uncle Steve's shake. Man, this is good. All right. We're going to go. Score. 
zero to ten for Chadio's Fire Kissed Burgers. I'm gonna score this a falling apart. It's a 9.8, these are outstanding. What would have made this a 10 in my book is some, um, um, what's it called, mushrooms. Um, I guess marinated mushrooms, no. You know what I mean. Put the melted butter, put the mushrooms in there. Sauteed mushrooms. Sauteed mushrooms would have made this a 10. But for what this is, this, is, this has been delicious. Mmm. Don't mind me. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe, and Mr. Beast, your burgers suck. Bye.